Are you on testosterone replacement therapy and wondering, does TRT increase risk of blood clots? Maybe you've been on it for a while. Maybe you're just starting. Regardless of how long you've been on it, this is an important question to address. So we'll look at some of the research behind this and why testosterone replacement therapy increases the risk of blood clots in some people and why it doesn't in others and what you can do about it. Again, my name is Dr. Taranella, and if you're new to this channel, I just want you to know that I make these videos to help you go beyond the basics of your health, whether it's a confusing lab test, symptom, diagnosis, or something like blood clot risk with TRT. I make these videos to help you get a better understanding of what's going on with your health. So if you like this kind of information on nutrition, hormones, overall health optimization, click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one. Now for a quick disclaim, the information contained in this video is for informational purposes only. It's not intended as treatment for any medical condition or a substitute for seeing an actual doctor or medical professional. It should be used as an educational guide to deepen your understanding of your own health and treatment success. If medical attention is needed, don't delay in seeking that attention. All right, let's look at this question. Does TRT increase the risk of blood clots? Does TRT increase the risk of blood clots and how concerned should you be about this? Well, there is some evidence that testosterone replacement therapy increases the risk of blood clots. Some research shows there's really no association or correlation there, and other studies have found a link between TRT and blood clots. For instance, a meta-analysis and thrombosis research in 2021 found that testosterone replacement therapy is not associated with increased risk for venous thromboemboli. They mentioned that, but they also mentioned that clinically important increased risk couldn't be completely ruled out. Taking the other side, a study in 2019, Journal of American Medical Association found that testosterone therapy was associated with increased in short-term risk for venous thromboemboli among men with and without low testosterone. So then I think the question really is, is this a risk factor? And if so, what can you do about it? Which begs the question, what is actually causing this increased risk if it is there? Most obvious reason for this, if it is occurring, is with polycythemia or erythrocytosis. Erythrocytosis is basically an increased production in erythrocytes, which are red blood cells, that happens as a result of being on testosterone replacement therapy. And that increased production or increased volume of red blood cells makes the blood thicker and less easier to flow throughout the bloodstream. If this was the cause, we would also expect other forms of polycythemia or erythrocytosis to also have an increased risk for blood clots. Indeed, we do see this in people that live at elevation. Those people also get polycythemia or erythrocytosis, and they are at slightly increased risk for blood clots. So looking at this question, does TRT increase the risk of blood clots? We kind of need to break it down and look at why that's there. And it's not going to happen in everyone, but in those people that do have increased red blood cell production or erythrocytosis, there definitely is an increased risk for blood clots. And that's the main reason why you want to check your red blood cells and manage that properly if it's occurring. In the studies that did find increased blood clots, it's likely due to this erythrocytosis. Again, it doesn't happen in everyone. It's a dose-dependent phenomenon, and it's also something individual and sometimes just really related to the person. Yes, sleep apnea is a big factor as well. But if you have increased red blood cells, high hematocrit above 50, you need to manage that. Go donate blood. Make sure that's staying in normal levels. Usually try to manage it below 50, but different labs have different cutoffs for that. And your doctor should be monitoring that and telling you when to donate blood. If it's above 50, that's a good indicator to start to think about that or, or get on some kind of routine. In addition to that, other risk factors for blood clots like cardiovascular disease, high homocysteine, and other clotting disorders may be appropriate for you to look at depending on how high your red blood cells are running all the time. So how'd I do? Did that help you better understand? Does TRT increase risk of blood clots? Hopefully it does. If you do have additional questions on this topic, drop it in the comment section. I'm happy to answer your question. We'll see you next time.